Having the right NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings can make the difference of almost 14 milliseconds delay. I'm not lying there guys, there are so many hidden settings in your NVIDIA Profile Inspector which you definitely don't have in the NVIDIA Control Panel and don't even get me started on the NVIDIA app. They're basically just simplified for the casual user because most people would see this and they would be like, okay, what is this? What does this even mean? So therefore I made for you a whole entire dedicated profile which is proven to work on any NVIDIA PC out there. I'm gonna show you all of the best settings which you should apply definitely in your NVIDIA Profile inspector to get guaranteedly more FPS and even less input delay. There are definitely a few features which I have to explain because they might actually decrease your performance but also decrease your input delay by a ton so therefore you can decide for yourself what is more important. You know in some competitive games you maybe don't need 500 FPS something like 300 is chill but having a lot less input delay is gonna do the magic so therefore yeah I'm gonna explain it. But you know what's also super important for competitive? Having insanely low ping and this is where GR Booster comes in clutch. GR Booster is your number one gaming service when comes down to reducing your ping. With the top link in my video description you can by the way try it out for absolutely free guys and even pros like Zen are using it. It's gonna help you to find the best DNS servers in your near to make sure to get the least amount of latency in all your favorite games. No matter if you're playing Fortnite, CS2, Valorant or the wide variety of games which GUP actually supports. Not only does it help you to reduce your ping but also give you better stability in games. So if you sometimes have random lag spikes or you have connection issues GUP is gonna help you to counter that. So therefore try out GUP Booster for absolutely free as mentioned with the top link in my video description. And in the first place guys, what we're gonna need is the new updated version of the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. What you can do is just simply google it up or there's also gonna be a link in the video description and from then you can find the official GitHub link with releases from orbmood 2 k slash NVIDIA Profile Inspector. You literally cannot miss it, as mentioned a link is as well in the video description and from then you're gonna get the latest version which is 2.4029. If for some reason some people have some issues with the latest version, sometimes it like bugs or it doesn't run on their system, you can also take a previous version. Version. But what we're going to do, basically any version from the last 5-6 to six years is going to work regardless but of course we're always going to try to use the latest one. They're just simply going to click on the Nvidia Profile Inspector.zip and then you can see that the download has started here on the top right. And then you can open it up and once you're not in this zip file you're going to need 7-zip or WinRAR anything to open up. And then all you got to do is drag the Nvidia Profile Inspector exit onto your desktop. And once you get it, it should look a little bit like this here. You can see the Nvidia logo and as well this shield which suggests that you have to run it as administrator. Then all we got to do do is launch the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, click under yes, and what we got to do now in here is basically click under Global Driver Profile and just simply type in that Fortnite. Then you're gonna click onto it and it's gonna load up the Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping access. That way you know that you're in the right position. And now for this next part all you got to do is go under discord.gg slash guys or the link is as well pinned of course in the description box and from there you can join my discord. And on here now all you got to do is find performance packs guys. You can just simply go into the search bar and just simply type in that performance performance and then you can see performance packs from then you can find it here I upload basically everything which you can find on my channel it's super easy to find you literally cannot miss it and once you're not in here I'm gonna post it after this video goes live guys so therefore you can get it from here straight up the pack and don't be worried discord shows this message here basically for anything you can even put just like a png in there if you 7 zip it up or pack it up with winrar it's always gonna tell you potentially dangerous so therefore don't be worried there you can just simply get it from there and then it should look a little bit like this here my twin 26 list stripes nvidia profile and once once you're now back in the profile inspector, all you gotta do is click under import user defined profiles, click under import profiles, and then select the 2026 list stripes pack. Click under open, and then you can see all of these settings are now successfully imported, which are basically making sure that you have no sort of frame rate limitation, that you don't use any sort of G-Sync since it's gonna be bad for 99% of users basically. Your preferred refresh rate is the highest available. Vertical sync is completely forced off. This option really only makes sense if you're maybe playing on 60 or 75 hertz and you have a ton of tearing while gaming so therefore yeah turn this off guys then next up any sort of anti-aliasing i always keep completely off everything except of gamma correction which basically is just lightning in most games but you want to make sure that all of these here are actually completely turned off the most important part is as well that anti-aliasing msaa mode is override any application setting that one is super important so it actually stays in here on all of your favorite games so if you change something in your let's say fortnite settings it's still gonna prefer these settings here that everything is forced off then antistrophic filtering optimization and sample optimization are actually useful since these do actually increase your performance. It basically optimizes your textures a little bit better, which is gonna make them potentially look a little bit worse, but still, you know, like give you more performance. This is what we're aiming for. 
especially in a game like Fortnite where textures aren't super important. Then your texture filtering quality should of course be on high performance. Um, LOD bias settings literally don't play any role here unless you're playing with potato graphics since we're not changing the level of detail. If you don't know what that is, just simply Google up potato graphics. It's kind of funny, you can try it out yourself. I do have a video on it, but usually this one here should be turned off as well. And now the most important part is actually maximum pre-rendered frames, guys. And this one here says use the 3D application settings. And this one you actually want to put to one. If you have a good PC with a strong CPU, that one is very important, guys. This can actually drastically reduce your input delay because usually this one here is set on default by something like free, which means you have free pre-rendered frames, which in total can be up to 14 additional milliseconds of delay if you're playing on, let's say, 144 FPS. The number always fluctuates, but you're still getting additional delay, which you don't want. So therefore, if you force this one actually to one, you're sort of forcing your PC to render frames in almost real time with only like two to three milliseconds delay, which is a ton faster. But of course, this one here is also more hardware demanding. So therefore, please try this one out yourself. Other than that, if you're getting too low FPS, put it again under use 3D application settings, or you could even try out two. As mentioned, the standard value is free. So therefore, you can try it out a little bit yourself. But if you're running a decent to very good CPU, you should definitely try out one as a value. And then all you got to do is click and apply changes. That way now everything is applied on your NVIDIA settings directly. It's going to overwrite as well your in-game settings. And you now guaranteedly have the best NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings for Fortnite in 2025. If you want to optimize your PC even more, make sure to check out the two videos which are right now on screen.